hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on cute looks um in this video i'm going to be taking you on how to make your six pieces gown or skirt behind and then the front side is going to be a line so in other words what i'm going to be teaching you today is how to make your a line six pieces gown you can have it on the skirt you can have it on your gown um just like the picture i have up there you can see from the half length all the way down the front side is a line and the back is showing your six pieces so i have my material on the table here this is a poly material even though it's a stretchy material we have the side that is a bit stretchy okay you see this side is more stretchy than this other area you can see it's not as stretchy as the wide side so i'm going to be using the wide part for the stretchy part because as it is we're going to be reducing the measurements of the body size of this person so i have it laid down on the table here my pin is ready to hold down my pattern paper i have my tape my ruler and my chalk so i have the barrier to explain to you everything that i have here you see it's very very clear um here you can see I have my length measurements it says 64 i'm going to be adding one and a half inches half to hold the waist area one inch after i've woven it to reduce and then i'll fold the bottom of it in total of 49 and a half inches my waist says 29 but because it's stretchy i'm going to be taking three inches off to give me 26 as my remaining and then when i divide it, it gives me six and a half inches this is my hip it says 35 i'm going to be my nursing three inches you can see i have 32 inches here so when i divide it into four it gives me eight inches before i could add my sewing inches of one and a half or one inch depending on how you want the dress to be you can even use half inch because it's a stretchy material so this is it i have my pattern paper here this will serve for the half length before we can add the bottom side of this to give us the full length so i have my half length that says 16 and 16 inches which i have here and I've taken off the 16 inches, which serves as my half length. And this is my knee length here, which is 33 and a half. My knee length is supposed to be 36, which I took three inches up and is giving me 33 and a half. That 33 and a half is my half inch to add to join with the waistline. And then it's supposed to end up at 33 inches. So you can see what I have here is 33 and a half inches. In total of 17 and a half. You can see it here. So my half serves up and the 17 remains because the whole down is flat and there's no joining at the kneel area. So I'll go straight and place this pattern here. When I minus my 6 inches from 64, it gives me um 48 inch 48 inches plus one and a half in total of 49 and a half inches so instead of start doing too much protocol like i said we're managing our half yeah um, half length off i'm going to go straight and measure my 49 and a half inches which i have here direct at the bottom of this fabric this is it here i will chuck it up here i'll go all the way to this side my 49 and a half i'll check it so you just pay attention because some of us still have issues on how to make our a line and six pieces behind dress thinking our freehand is just the best idea but in this case you need a pattern paper to give you a clean finishing on your work i'm not chucking this so hard so that it will stain this fabric you can see it's the light color fabric so at least we can all see our chalk so i'll bring this down here depending on how much you want the bottom side to flow on this gown or your skirt what i have here in total is giving me 19 and a half and then at the bottom side here i also have my 19 and a half inches you can reduce just to 15 you can do 20 you can do more depending on how you want it to flow at the bottom of the gown or the skirt so i'll come to this part and place my pattern and then show you how i took my measurements one after the other so i'll pin it down here and i'll hold it down side we've seen some of all these ties on our bridal wears and then you can get confused on how to make it for yourself or for a client. This is just the easiest method to do your A-line six pieces gown or skirt. So I've pinned this down here. So this is it. So we start with our measurements. Our waist says 26 at the moment, which is 
when I divide into four, it gives me six and a half. So this is my six and a half inches here. I'll mark it down plus my one and a half inches. If you notice, I didn't add my data allowance. That's because I want it to be working out correctly at the back side. So the front side now on this fabric, I'm going to add my one inch allowance to sew for my dart and then I will connect it down to meet my hip. Can you see? It didn't disturb the hip. It just went straight down to meet the hip and it's cool. So at this area here is where we're going to be connecting to the bottom side of this. So I'll carefully move this so I don't stain the material with the chalk. You can see. I'll move carefully to meet the bottom of my dress. So you see, like I said, you can reduce, you can increase, depending on how much you want. Somebody that is bigger, you can expand more. So I'm going to stop here. I think I have like 15 inches here. Yeah, I have my 15 plus my sewing allowance of one inch in total of 16 inches. So this is the front part of this dress. I'm going to chalk out my that allowance, which I already marked out here, four inches. So I'm going to mark it because I'm going to end at seven inches, which is three and a half inches. So once half is out, it's going to remain three and a half inches. When we do it, it's seven inches we have there. So I'll cut this out so I can show you what the back looks like. Okay. Draft out the bottom side of this, which I've connected the waist to the hip. And then our hip area, you can see I've already divided it. Like I said, it was 35. We minus three inches to give us 32. When I divide it, it's giving us eight inches, which I have here. This is my direct eight inches plus one and a half. And then at the bottom side, I have my seven inches. I just minus one inch from the eight inches. If you want yours two fitted, no problem. You can take two inches off. But mind you, it will now look very funny as if you cannot move. So it's better you give yourself ease even if the cloth is stretchy. And then you add your one and a half inches or one inch to shape it to look very curved. So if you're making one inch now, this is how the shape will come out at the bottom side to look very sharp like a real pencil. Can you see it? before the flip but i'm stopping here i'm adding one and a half inches i prefer it that way so do yours the way you think would be cool on your dress so i'm going to be cutting this out so you see what it looks like then at the bottom side you're not supposed to be having this sharp edge here you just come up by one inch so you don't have this point out around here you just take one inch around here and then shape the bottom side a little this is it and so i'm going to chop that off So this is how the bottom will look like. Can you see? Not looking too sharp. And then I'll cut this out. Try not to cut in between your chalk. Cut outside of your chalk, not in between your chalk. You can see. So I'm going to carefully. And then I get here, I'll cover my hand. Follow my paper shaped out. And then I'll go straight to meet the waist angle. So you see, you can think it's not having any shape here, but once you hold your dart, this becomes the real shape of the person. So I'm going to cut here out. And so we're cool. And then notch the middle. And then the dart line. Out. So we're good to go for the front side and then we'll go to the back side where the main work is done. Anybody can actually cut the front side which is this I have here. So you can see what it will look like when I'm done cutting out the front. Just like you have on the photo, you can see it. So when you look at the photo carefully, you see this is what the front will look like. So I have this ready. I'll put this aside. So I can get the back side ready for you to see. Okay, we're done with the front, like I said, and this is the back part. The material laid on the table. And you can see I have a line ruled out here on this paper. And that serves as my dart, which I said four inches all the way, and I've ruled it out. This is it, and this is the side of the body, and this is my sewing allowance of one and a half, one and a half inches. 
so like i said i didn't add my that allowance around here because the back is going to be pieces so i'm going to cut this back part out so whatever i'm doing here you understand so this is my four inches going out so i have it ready here so i'm going to place this here our front says um 49 and a half i'm going to be having at the back here i'm going to be having 53 or even more depending on how you want the back tail to be long but i want it to come out real good so let's just say i'll be using at least 54 it's okay so it will just serve as the back side so i'll place my pattern here which serves as the back side but before doing that i'm going to be placing my five inches out here this is five inches i'm going to mark it all the way to the downside this is my five inches all the way down there's no need ruling because this is a fabric so we don't stain it with chalk so I'll bring it closer to the point of that my five inches line and i'll pin it down here Boom. i'm going to pin it down and i'll pin this downside as well so the paper is with the fabric now and then i'll go ahead and bring up my zip allowance of one and a half inches i'll take it down so this is it i'm going to stop here and then um for the tail to be obvious this is my half length i won't be coming to the half length to curve i'm going to go by four inches up almost close to my hip line take my four inches up already let me use four and a half inches so it will be close to my hip so from this angle i'm going to shape down to meet here this is my zip allowance and so this is my half length but i'm going to take it from here i'll take it using my ruler to follow it down like this as i most times people always do it to flow very good so that your ruler will stay this way and shape out so it depends on how much you want it to be but i'm working according to the fabric laid on the table so we don't have issues of um it's not enough it's not enough so i'm done rolling this out and then i'll come to this area after my five inches which is this will serve as my four inches of that line and then I'll bring out another four inches here. So in total of everything I have here is 13 inches. I'll take it up. I keep going up. It's my 13 inches. This is it here. You can see this method is also like that of our six pieces behind. So you can see. I'm trying not to stain this fabric. That's why I'm not rolling it out too sharp. But I'm sure you can see what I'm rolling out here. So this is the, uh, the center part at the back and this is the side part that has the hip area so i'm going to place it here at this upside carefully from the line of that my 13 inches i will place it down and then i will pin it from that area so this is it i'm going to pin it down and for pinning down i'm supposed to take at least one inch this one inch serve as the joining of the center part and that of this because I didn't add the allowance of the joining on that one. 
is going to be here so this is our that measurement that is at the front side this is the one inch it will be at this area so chalk it so I have it ready I'm going to pin this down from the line of that one inch so it's ready so this is it so I'm going to take this place from here I'll connect it to meet this point here and so you see trying to bring it up for you to see clearly so this is it mind you this fabric is not too big as mean you have a very big fabric it's supposed to spread out real good so when you want to make something like this for yourself you can have a big material to do this and then you're good to go so I have this part ready all I have to do is to rule this out to connect to the bottom side of this dress Keep going and I've got into the length of what I want. So this is it. And so this space remaining here won't have to go for waste. I'll take it from this point here. Be carefully go. So if you notice I don't have waste on this. So I'm going to use this. Connect it and it here. Here you see the back is ready. This is the hip area and this is the center part. So I'll cut it out so you understand what I'm talking about. Start from here carefully. Cut this part out. back part out as well so this is the center part where we have our zip allowance so I'll cut it out as well And then you notch it to guide you. And then you can take this off. So this is the back, center back. We done with it. And I'll just chuck it to show this is the back. And then I'll cut out the hip area. And then this back, this side part is not supposed to have the same length with that of the middle. Since the middle is at 54, I'm supposed to be having this area at my 59 inches, 59 and a half inches. You could ask why, but not to worry. I'll show you why it's done. So I'm going to cut it off from here. So we're done with that part. So let me cut out the side. I need to recheck this measurement. I think I'm having okay, my 49 and a half inches. Sorry, so I have it ready there. So I'm going to cut this out. So 
you see I don't have fabric to waste all out so this will be the back part since we've gotten the front side of it so guys I have this out here I will be joining this to show you what the back looks like and then show you what the front looks like so you understand what the photo I'm showing you up there explains so this is it so let's join it and then have our beautiful work done so you can see we have joined them this is the back part can you see looking very flowing at the back not yet ironed looking relaxed can you see so you can see this middle side of the back side is SS so I'm going to place it this way to be able to get out my tail like I said you can make yours longer and then I'm going to come I'm going to come to this edge just like I did at the front and then I'll take my one inch up and then from there I'll curve this way I'm going to shape it down to meet this line all the way down here and there I have my tail let me adjust this real good you can pin it down if you want and so I'm going to shape it carefully to rhyme with this area to give me the tail at the back so I'll cut this out This is it for the back and then when I open it out and you see the tail is out around here can I just this carefully so this is it for the back side and this is the front side we already have our dots so I'm going to be closing this up so you see what the full body looks like you can see the waistline everything is equal so i'll just go and join this other machine and then we're good to go so guys you can see i'm done you can see what that is here already the half length can you see where it's relaxing not on her knee this is the knee area you can see how it's shaped out here the front is giving us our a line full on the ground can you see and so this is the back side you can see the pieces area can you see how relaxed it looks at the back and then the tail is there you see and it's flowing at the back side and you see this is how the back is going to be while you're done with this pattern but this is just the simplest method using your paper to cut out the front and that of the back slash it out cut out the back i don't even have issues with the hip area everything is looking relaxed on her body flowing on the ground so while you're watching you watch this video give me a thumbs up turn on your notifications subscribe please and then join the comment section i will be there to attend to you so guys i will see you in my next video bye bye